Hey everyone, welcome to another episode on my channel. My name is Ruan and today we're going to be racing a Formula 1 car on the Nord Schleifer. I've always wanted to do that. I think it must be quite entertaining because this track is not really meant for Formula 1 cars. So before we jump in the car and take it for a spin around this track, let's first see how the Nord Schleifer came to be and what's the history of this track. The Nürburgring Nordschleife, often referred to simply as the Nordschleife, is a legendary and iconic racetrack located in the Eiffel region of Germany. Its history dates back to the 1920s, when it was constructed as part of a government-funded project to stimulate the economy during the Great Depression. The track officially opened on June 18, 1927 and quickly gained a reputation as one of the most challenging and demanding circuits in the world. The Nordschleife, which translates to Northern Loop in English, was designed by the renowned architect Gustav Eichler. It stretches over 20.8 kilometers through the picturesque Eiffel Forest, featuring an astonishing 73 corners each with its own character and unique challenges. The track was originally created for both racing and testing purposes with its demanding layout meant to push cars and drivers to their limits. The track is a mythical asphalt ribbon that winds its way through a lush and unforgiving forest, a playground for those who seek the ultimate test of skill and courage. As you approach the entrance, you're greeted by a sign that reads Green Hell, a nickname bestowed upon the track by Sir Jackie Stewart due to its daunting and unpredictable nature. Once on the track, you're immediately surrounded by the dense, towering trees that line the circuit. The Nordschleife's 73 corners range from sweeping bends to treacherous hairpins, demanding utmost precision and bravery. The elevation changes are as dramatic as the plot twists in a thriller with sections like the famous carousel where you feel like you're on a roller coaster ride. Drivers unleash their machines down long straights where top speeds can exceed 300 kilometers per hour only to slam on the brakes moments later as they dive into a series of blind heart pounding curves. The Nürburgring Nordschleife it's not just a test of a car's performance, it's a test of a driver's metal. Legends have been made and dreams shattered on this track. It's a place where the adrenaline surges and the smell of burnt rubber and racing fuel fills the air. It's where enthusiasts and professionals alike come to chase the ultimate thrill, attempting to conquer the green hell and etch their names into the archives of motorsport history. Whether you're watching or driving, the Nordschleife is an experience that leaves an unforgettable mark on your soul. A reminder of the unyielding pursuit of speed, skill and glory. Now that you know more about the Nürburgring Nordschleife, let's jump into that Formula 1 car and take it for a spin around the Nordschleife. All right guys, I am in my seat again in front of the gorgeous Moza KS wheel. We are going to take a Formula One car around Nordschleife. And um, yeah, I saw a while ago, um, David Coulthard and Daniel Ricciardo, they were racing the two uh, Red Bull. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, Red Bull Formula One cars around the track uh, as a publicity stunt I think so I wanted to try this as well uh, I'm first gonna just do a lap by myself a uh, hot lap uh, it's on the tourist version of the track um, I'm in the Racem Studio uh, hybrid 2023 Formula One car 
amazing, absolutely amazing. These guys really know what they're doing. And um, yeah, I'm going to see how fast I can go. And uh, if I make mistakes, you're going to be with me <laughs> on those mistakes as well. So um, off I go. Let's go. Didn't make that one. We're gonna restart. <laughs> yeah, I was pushing too hard through that corner. First gear, I mean, who are we kidding? Okay, just gonna restart. All right, we're gonna try this again and see if we can get through an entire lap of Nordschleife with a Formula One car.
and stay in third around this corner. Up comes the corner where I made my mistake. That's better. Stitch it through here. Let's do it. They say this is the slowest corner on the launch life. I think you believe them. It almost seems too easy, <laughs> like I'm cheating. That's a sneaky little corner. Doesn't matter what car you drive. Here we go. Go through here. Put a little chicken in there. Almost lost it. Push me. Here we go. What's that? Five minutes, twenty-one seconds. <laughs> I know I can improve on that time, but let's just go in here. How's that? One lap of the Nord Schleife in a Formula 1 car. Let's go park it nicely. Let's just check. Here we go. Park it right here. Alright, how much fun was that? But we're not going to stop here. I've decided I'm going to race against the AI once again. And this time it's only going to be one car and it's going to be a Red Bull and it's going to be Max Verstappen driving it or well, let's just say it's going to be Max Verstappen driving it as you can see I'm a Ferrari fan unfortunately we're not doing too well in the Formula 1 uh, championship <laughs> at the moment um, but you know what I'm a diehard fan 
I come from the days of Michael Schumacher. That's when I fell in love with the sport and I just chose Ferrari as my team, as they were on top at, the, at, at that time. So, without further ado, let's jump into that car and show that Red Bull just how fast a Ferrari can be around the Nordschleife. Let's go. Okay, so now I am back in the game. I'm still in the Racing Studio Formula Hybrid 2023. I've got a Ferrari skin on, but as you can see, I like Ferrari. And I've got Max Verstappen right in front of me here on the grid. Um, number one, I'm number two. First, second. So we're going to see how I can do here. Uh, I've tried racing against him in 95, on 95% uh, AI strength. He just took off. I couldn't catch him. Very realistic. <laughs> but uh, we're trying it on 92% now, so let's see what happens. Come on, man, that can't be. How is he so fast? Check it, there he goes. I can see him. One day if I can catch him. No. All right, guys, I'm going to turn down the AI difficulty to 90% and then see if I can actually stand a chance against that Red Bull. All right, be back right now. Okay, now I'm back in the car again and I've set old Max's AI strength to 90% because I couldn't catch him on 92. Uh, maybe I just need to try harder, I don't know. But we're going to try and race him on 92%, uh, 90%, and his aggress aggression is set to 75%. Um, and then we're going to see if I can actually beat him or see what's possible. Alright, here we go. Little bit of wheel spin there, but that's okay. Come on, Max. Damn, you're fast. Good. 
See if I can catch him. Here I come, Max. I can clearly see that 90% is too weak for the AI. But let's just have some fun. But a Formula One car is a whole new ball game. Different handling, different braking points. Wow, you gotta love it. And you gotta be smooth, very smooth. Otherwise, you spin. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh. oh, we don't want to hit Max because then he's gonna complain. We all know how Max loves to complain when things don't go his way. Yes, I'm not a fan of Max. Is it because he's always winning? Maybe. <laughs> but let's just leave that conversation there. Come on, Maxi. But yeah, this is so not a Formula One track. The kind of car that you want to take around here is like your 911 Porsche, GT3, not a Formula 1 car. This is just for fun. Where's Max now? Come on Max. Have to catch him. This is problematic. Come on. I'm coming next. Yes, no more playing with you. Come on. Oh, we're going to be in trouble. Come on. Come on!
Get out of my way, Max! <laughs> that was so close! <laughs> Race over! Thank you, Max! That was fun! <laughs> and eventually I managed to beat Max. Of course I had to play around with the AI difficulty settings and maybe I cheated a bit by making it only 90% but um, that was fun. That was a lot of fun and I really hope you enjoyed it too. So once again that's the end of an episode. The next episode I'm planning something really special. So if you don't want to miss out make sure you subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you again next time. Cheers.